He's digging, he's met the black. So they're playing the Destruction Warlock again. Alec, current world record holder in dampening, 85% here. Gonna be <laughs> and he did it on this composition. We'll see if he can break that today. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see. Method Black, they're gonna be opting to go with the Mana Rift strategy once again. Demon Hunter, Death Knight, very durable composition. Relies heavily on Raikou consistently finding these Mana Rifts. As you can see, that little purple circle on the ground. When that expires, Askarath is going to lose 8% of his mana and 8% of his health. This is what we've seen from both Method Black and Method Orange consistently in these tournaments this season so far. And it's a really difficult strategy to deal with because you can try to counter pressure, you can try to win in the early game, but with how oh. durable both Death Knights and Demon Hunters are, that is much easier said than done. Multiple Maledicts incoming towards Raikou as he's forced to duck around the corner. That was a nice move on Alex's part, a bit of a close call, but ultimately nothing to take advantage of moving forward. However, later in the game, when Dampening has ramped up, if they can set up a cool play like that, they definitely are going to be taking down Raikou, and Method Black are realizing this, and just respecting the damage, avoiding some of it for now. Now actually looking to get aggressive when I-Beam is available as I-Beam activates Raikou's metamorphosis. Whenever he grows wings like this and becomes a gigantic demon, his damaging spell abilities start to heal him as well. Now without that activated, his healing is much lower, so this is where you would want to look to burst a demon hunter. Chaos Bolt, a good option to do that. However, being disrupted by Swapsy. Asgaroth locked down in crowd control as well as Swapsy. ABC looking for some pressure off the back of this, but Alec is just unable to get a Chaos bolt off during that crowd control and crowd control without chaos is not going to do too much I have bash on Chaz and I, I feel like out of all the druids in this tournament so far Asgrath has been doing the best job really managing his mana for a long time you can see that he is a little bit behind Chaz but that's because he's been having to deal with the mana risk but with the way he's been holding on to his mana healing very efficiently getting off well-timed innervates and sneaking away for drinks when he can I have been very impressed with him on Druid so far in this tournament. All right, let's see if he can keep it up here. It's a lower bracket, best of five. The loser of this series goes home in third place. Method Black are the current top point earner. So if you're wildcard gaming, you're kind of praying for Method Black to have a good run so that nobody else can pass you up. Obviously, the Pumpers with no points, it's unlikely even if they place in first, but they really want to try and get it if they can to qualify for the Spring Finals land or accrue points to potentially secure a spot at BlizzCon as we tally up all the points together to qualify a team from the region. There has been good pressure back and forth from both of these teams in game one. However, Asgaroth is now significant is now significantly behind on mana. And I think mana is going to be the name of the game here when facing a demon hunter. Yeah, Method Black is looking to win three cups in a row, and I don't think that's ever happened before in the history of these tournaments, of these cups. So if they can manage to pull it off right here and win this lower bracket game. They will be moving forward to the grand finals to play against the Pumpers and try to get that three tournament win streak in a row, which would be a record for them. Asgarath, low on mana, having a difficult time. Raikou's been doing a good job consistently landing these burns. We need to see Alec try to get offensive. The last time he used his Infernals and his Dark Soul, they were able to get Raikou quite low. They need to try to catch him off guard with the Mortal Coil, potentially a bash from Asgarath in order to take him down, but I think as long as Method Black plays it safe, they rotate properly, they respect the offensive cooldowns from ABC, it's looking like a winning matchup. Yeah, and another Azurite trait that Raikou is running here, we've been talking a lot about the leech, but burning soul, so every time consume magic is casted, which is effectively the same mechanic as a purge for a shaman, it removes a beneficial magic effect. This will also give the demon hunter an enormous shield effect, absorbing big damage. So you pair that shield with the soul leech healing and some restoration druid heal over time effects, and you've got yourself a pretty difficult target to take down so Raikou is running three of those burning souls really focusing on survivability so that he can extend the match obviously utilizing the honor talent mana rift to burn Asgarath out and tap them out in game number one ABC have gone with the warlock shaman restoration druid the wizard cleave composition to try and deal with this threat as maybe it's their only option available everything else that they've tried has just not worked we saw some really good pressure earlier on from Alec with his infernal setup on Raikou, but so far since then, not too much has happened for the side of ABC. Slowly and surely, Method Black build their lead. Yeah, definitely Asgrath once again trying to sneak away, but Swapsy sends his ghoul, his pet, over. 
Ashcroft potentially looking for a shadow meld. Man manages to find it, but he just doesn't have the time to sit down and actually secure that mana that he needs. Alec already getting bursted down to around 50% health at 2% dampening. Ashgrath almost completely out of mana. And as long as Mets of Black don't completely drop the ball and Raikou chases Ashgrath down, I don't see the win condition here for ABC. They need some sort of one-shot kill, but Alex already used his main offensive cooldowns. It really didn't even dent Method Black, and things are just looking really good. I feel like ABC, they tried out a composition for game number one against this Cleave setup, but it is not working out so far. Important combination of Azerite traits as a Destruction Warlock is that of Crashing Chaos and Flashpoint. Crashing Chaos, increasing the damage of your Chaos Bolts during Infernals. Chaos Bolt already really important, but just adding a little bit of extra punch in terms of damage there. And then, of course, Flashpoint gives you a significant amount of haste when your Immolate deals damage to a target above 80% health. So by getting haste, you increase the speed of your Chaos Bolt. Then during Infernals, the Chaos Bolt does even more damage. It's really fast, and it's a smart combination of Azerite rights to take as a destruction warlock yep and now we see with asgarath no mana left this is where method black is going to be looking to get really aggressive on alec potentially as long as they can slow down the drinks asgarath i don't think he has enough time to actually stabilize his team alec forced to trade out the unending resolve and by asgarath just a little bit of time to drink but chaz raiku they're able to shut it down now alec with no unending resolve is going to be a very vulnerable target, but he has the Dark Soul and Infernal's coming up in around 10 seconds. There is a small opportunity for ABC here, but Method Black, they just have so many answers. Raikou has every defensive. He has the Darkness. Swapsy, every defensive. He has the Anti-Magic Zone if he really needs to. And of course, Chaz has the Iron Bark. Chaz Mana not doing super great, but I feel like with the self-healing Method Black has, Chaz is going to be able to hold on to that mana for much longer than ABC really has time. Infernals have hit the battlefield. This is where Crashing Chaos comes in for Alec, as well as Grimoire of Supremacy. So every Soul Shard he's able to spend increases the damage of his next Chaos Bolt, so he's looking to ramp. So far, his ramp has basically been shut down. He hasn't really been able to boost the damage, but he's still going to go for it, looking to bait some interrupts with that fear. Gets one Chaos Bolt, gets stunned on the second, and that was a smart decision by Swapsy. If you can not stop two in a row you want to save your interrupt stop the second one because one chaos bolt's not going to kill you two in a row that's going to kill you so right there swapsy held his stop for the second one rather than using it on the first one and now that dark soul is all but faded away a destruction warlock while quite durable and difficult to kill at the top level can be danced around quite easily especially when you bring in multiple melee interrupts that the team uh, method black have brought in i would have maybe have liked to see nether ward from Alex so he can use nether ward to immune himself to both disrupt and mind freeze from a death knight and a demon hunter but he's not running it he's still falling behind asgrath is totally tapped out on mana met the black have all of the momentum completely in control of game number one as they close it out here method black utter domination and this is kind of what you did predict sid and it, it's there are a lot of reasons to make that prediction i i think I think was the highest rated demon hunter in all of europe so uh right has definitely been uh just keeping this uh, pick fresh ever since it came out so keep your eyes on jamie jamie a fantastic player we expect him to look good but he may be the one that does fall behind let's see if he can get the pressure going and he can riff with some of these riffs yeah, that is going to be the most important thing in this matchup. Can Jamie consistently land these mana rifts? In North America, we saw some of the Demon Hunters that went up against Trill. They just fell a little bit short. Trill was way more advanced, way more practice, and gave his team the edge that way. And I think Raikou should certainly be able to do the same for his team here in this matchup. ABC, if they haven't practiced this composition, I think moving forward, this is definitely something that they need to focus on as it is so strong. I'll have to see what they can get done in game number one. One mana ref secured on Chaz. And I, I, with the way these comps play out, it really will come down to mana, in my opinion. Either the Druid will just fall early to a big swap, or the Druid will just be completely out of mana before too much really happens between these DPS. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think if we've seen the mirror between these two compositions. Is this really the first time that we've seen it? I, I think that it actually is, at least with the same healers. So we've not yet been able to find out exactly how this plays out. The, the main uh, game factor is going to be that mana rift, as you already pointed out. So it's going to put the druids on a clock for sure. But 
on this big map, Ashmane's Fall. Maybe the Druids can sneak away and find drinks to regenerate their mana, extend the game into deep dampening. The main thing that I'm trying to focus on is the difference in terms of build, because even though they're playing the same classes, it does not mean that they're necessarily playing the same talents or the same Azerite traits. And it looks like Chaz has gone for a strategy that's more about kiting. He's actually running mass entanglement. I guess he doesn't feel he needs the extra stun on his team, whereas Asgarath is running bash. Mass entanglement, if this ends up being a healer race and dampening, could definitely be super effective, but they do lose out on some kill windows from not having that bash. Asgaroth, on the other hand, has decided to run with thorns, whereas Chaz has decided to run with overgrowth, and overgrowth is really expensive. I only expect him to cast that when he has Innervate, which makes it free. Thorns has just added free damage in dampening. I, I'm really struggling to see why their builds are so different. I mean, they're also Scenarian Ward for Azgroth, whereas Chaz is still running the Soul of the Forest. There's a lot of difference in terms of builds on each side. Azgroth preferring the Cultivation. I guess he's more worried about the Consume Magic from the Demon Hunter, so Consume Magic could remove that Soul of the Forest Rejuvenation. So instead, Cultivation being an undispellable heal over time effect will allow Azgroth that effect into dampening. I'm very curious to see how it plays out. So far, Chaz is healing output has been a lot more superior could also be attributed to damage this would be the case where i'd love to know how much damage the teams are doing as that's going to be a big component to victory yep and you can see chaz a little bit ahead on mana his mass entanglement build has been allowing him to kite jamie a little bit more than asgrass really been able to get away once again another mana ref here secured swapsy and raikou just running at asgrass his entire game whereas nixie he's playing a little bit different he's trying to actually peel raikou and swapsy by asgrass some time but you can see jamie look at him he just can't reach chaz chains of ice from swapsy have been able to deny if we look at mana asgrass down to around 35 percent whereas chaz is almost double that around 80% mana. Things are looking really good for Method Black so far. You definitely have to practice mana rift, especially when you're going to do it out of an ability such as in prison, because if you time it badly, it goes into imprison and doesn't burn any mana. If you time it too late, the healer gets to escape it, and Raikou obviously has a lot more practice with it, and it's starting to show here in game number two, because Asgrath is so much more so behind on mana over Chaz in that regard, and this is just where experience is going to come in the favor of Method black and I really think it's always just been experience and practice ABC rely on counter comping trying to take an advantage but in this case they have no counter comp they have to outskill they have to outplay their opponents and if that's what it comes down to method black is not going to be beat yeah, Askarath almost completely tapped at this point, still trying to run away and hide for his life. Raikou in hot pursuit, as well as Swapsy. Chaz manages to find a re-stealth, and Jamie looking for Chaz in this matchup just seems like, I don't know, it seems a little bit hopeless. Chaz is consistently managing to escape. Chaz also playing the Relentless, which I think is a really great option. It makes it more difficult for Jamie to time those mana rifts. So I just feel like Method Black, they know what to do in this mirror a little bit better than ABC. ABC just doesn't seem as well prepared, as well coordinated. And unfortunately for them, they are falling further and further behind in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, it's an inevitability at this point. They're going to be slowly overwhelmed and swarmed by Method Black now that Asgrath is completely tapped of that resource mana. And obviously, uh, Raikou is going to look to consume magic to heal over time effects, and Asgrath simply won't have the mana to refresh them back onto his team. He needs to try and sneak away and drink, but he doesn't even have that available right now with Nixie now getting counter-pressured. Fortunately, Innervate available and activated. He gets a bunch of free healing. Definitely want to make sure when Innervate is up, you drop that efflorescence, so that giant green circle with the red mushroom in the middle. That is the most expensive instant cast heal Restoration Druid has. If you're not putting that down when you have Innervate, you're losing out on a lot of value, so Asgrath makes sure to do that. Would have liked to see him maybe play around it so that he could get the extra healing while he's in this stun instead of abandoning the position, but at the same time, if he doesn't abandon the position, Chaz is looking to drink. They left him alone. I don't think he was able to get too much mana, if any, but it's still just a massive lead at this point. Raikou is just leaps and bounds better than Jamie at this strategy and execution. Yep, Nixie getting lower and lower, and this is exactly what we see from Method Black. They get Askarath out of mana, now turn their attention on to Nixie, and he just doesn't have the healing to stay alive. He needs to try to maintain his own health, but Icebound Fortitude doesn't seem to be enough as he gets lower and lower. Raikou turning his attention on to Askarath once again. They could get a double kill here, 
but it's looking more and more likely that Askarath will be the one to fall. Gladiator safeguard procs, no iron bark, no bark skin, no trinket, no nothing as Askarath gets gripped into the middle of the fight. Swapsy and Raikou all over him. Chaz there as well to back him up. Jamie drops out of darkness. Askarath trying to get back in it, but Jamie dropped it outside of Askarath. He gets no value. They might be able to just kill him before he can oh. utilize that defensive cooldown. That was a huge misplay from Jamie. But even besides that, that just looked completely hopeless that was for ABC. Pathetic, honestly, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, so what? One of the first things we say is Jamie coming in on that demon hunter has a situation that ABC is in, and why do they mirror? They mirror because they are at a loss for comps, which is totally fine, but here, why don't they just go for a main comp? Even if it is a low percentage play, why do you think they go for alts here again, Ben? Well, I think they probably feel like this is their best chance. Maybe they have played their mains into this matchup and have just never been able to really pull off a victory, so trying to pull out a bit of a sneaky surprise, and earlier I did miss Speak. Tolveron Arena isn't the largest map of the pool, that is Mugambala, but this map provides the most open space for these Wizard Cleave compositions, especially the one ABC is bringing, so it's still an ideal pick for them. Yeah, strategically, they've set themselves up well, but we've already seen, as in the pre-game's analysis, Valet, a multi-BlizzCon comp competing Shadow Priest, completely torn to shreds from this composition. And they're going to bring in Jamie Shadow Priest? Is this day one Jamie Shadow Priest? We saw the Demon Hunter. That didn't look good at all. That was like an 80% mana advantage. Raikou was outperforming him in every single regard. So bringing in Jamie on the Shadow Priest after watching Valet get stomped, I'm not sold on that. I really am not sold on that. It would be impressive. I'm not saying that this team doesn't have the potential in the future to be able to pull off victories, but they need a wake-up call. They need a slap across the face. They need to get more compositions, better practice in if they want to ultimately return to being BlizzCon champions because Method Black are just leaps and bounds ahead. You will know, have to see how this game exactly plays out right now. Jamie trying to get aggressive with his Void Eruption. That's going to give him access to Void Bolt and allow him to do a bit of additional damage. But once he uses that, Raikou and Swapsy, they're going to be trying to shut down some of that damage, R really limit the amount of insanity he's able to generate and get him out of that Void form, really slowing down his damage. I think that's smart. If we look at Mana, Asgarath already on 60%. So we'll have to see if he can ever sneak away and get a drink. So far, he has been completely unable to. And... Raikou turns his attention, once again looking for a mana rip. Silence there by Jamie, slows down the mana rip. That was nicely done, Raikou. He went over, tried to get the stun into mana rip, but Jamie responded with a silence, slowing down Raikou, buying a little bit more time for Asgrath. All right, let's see what they can do. It's still not looking good here as Raikou keeps securing that mana lead currently as that is the meta composition. Uh, it's kind of play on words there as demon hunters have metamorphosis. All right, whatever. I'll leave the puns to Rich. That's not my job. Jamie doing his best to counter aggress, but just no damage really appearing anywhere on the side of Method Black as they fall further behind. Alec could be the X factor with that kleptomania, being able to remove all heal over time effects in one spell steal. Maybe with Icy Veins and a huge hit, Alec puts the team on his shoulders, gets a point on the board. But even still, if they manage to do that, they have to win at the map selection of Method Black and the comp advantage, although I don't really think they're going to play any other comp other than this Demon Hunter Death Knight. It's really looking grim for ABC. They definitely had a better performance in this tournament overall. I will say that they have improved, but when they go head to head with Method Black, it's it's night and day. Yeah, Asgarath now in stealth, a ghoul chasing him down, but I, I think he's actually might be able to reset his mana here. This is good. Alec build, or Alex build, um, when looking at it, I feel like it's not necessarily ideal. Jamie is gonna be the main target for Method Black in this matchup, and Alec once again is going for that Ice Lance build, and I think if they're on Jamie, Alec needs to be able to sort of counter pressure them as best he can. I would have much rather have seen the Tunnel of Ice build, so his Frost Bolts are significantly more empowered, giving him more uh, of a, basically making him more of a threat and freeing Jamie up to get a little bit more pressure out. Askarath already down to 15% mana. Chaz has a massive lead, and this is what we were afraid of. If ABC can't sneak away, can't get the drinks, can't counter pressure, Things aren't looking too great for them right now. Askarath has been trying to sneak away, but Method Black has just been able to deny it every step of the way, just one step ahead of ABC in this matchup. Yep, always one step ahead. Asgrath now is almost completely tapped on mana. They still have been burning down Chaz's at least. Maybe there's an opportunity for ABC to overcome this disadvantage. It's going to be up to Asgarath to sneak away. Is he going to be able to escape Raikou's clutches? I think one mistake that we see often with these mage teams is 
is that they just ignore the Demon Hunter. They just let him run at their Druid and burn him down with Mana Rifts. I, I really want to see Alex support Asgarath, get him off of his back, drag him all the way across the map so that he can polymorph him and then maybe sneak away. I like Asgarath's positioning in that corner. That way they can free cast on Raikou. They set themselves up well. Master Spell to try and snipe Chaz's drink attempt here. I don't think it was able to land. Raikou, or sorry, Alec ultimately able to stop it with a Cone of Cold. Well done. It, mana is actually a lot closer than I thought in this match specifically, and that might be an opportunity for ABC and Dampening. Yeah, definitely potential there. But Chaz might be able to sneak away for a drink, although I don't feel like he really needs to. He can just continue to play aggressive, keep his team in the fight, make sure they're able to get out as much pressure as they need to. Asgrass is still trying to hold on. He's actually throwing out a lot of Solar Wrath, more so than any Druid I've seen in this tournament, really assisting his team with a little bit of casted damage when he can. Raikou now trying to finish off the last little bit of mana Asgrath has available. Chaz throwing in a Maledict onto Jamie, trying to just pressure down ABC a little bit more as we enter dampening, now at 3% completely tapped on mana. What is ABC going to do? I mean, at this point, dispersion, at least that keeps them alive, keeps them in play for a few for more moments, but momentum is shifted in complete control for Method Black. They've tapped Asgarath off. Chaz is on babysitting duty. He's never gonna let Asgarath drink at this point. His team is in complete control. Void shift now forced. That's gonna switch Jamie's health, but even still unable to completely stabilize with dampening not even at 6% at this point uh -oh. three members being pressured and Asgarath tries to escape is he able to is the question no no mana regeneration on his part Alec is trying to stand next to him for a final stand but there's just no counter aggression no semblance of damage they managed to get a polymorph maybe Raikou can do it they burst down but death strike more than enough to keep Swapsy afloat here and Jamie he's flailing he's faltering and likely to fall soon there's not much left standing in the way for method black to clean sweep ABC and advance to the finals to go head to head with the pumpers. A couple more mana rifts, maybe even just only one is likely to close this. Jamie's Vampiric Embrace, well timed there with his void form, allowing himself to heal his whole team. Definitely carrying in that scary moment, buying time for Iron Bark to rotate off cooldown. But Asgrod is just working with no mana left in the tank. Dampening gets higher and higher. His healing gets weaker and weaker. And I think it's just an inevitability that Jamie's gonna fall. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. He does have Dispersion coming up very shortly, but Alec actually traded out both of his Ice Blocks as well, so he's definitely a vulnerable target. Method Black, they wanna close out this series. So far, it seems like everything is going their way. They wanna set up the rematch between them and the Pumpers in the Grand Finals, and it's looking like they are going to get the rematch that they want. Although Swapsy taking a little bit of pressure right now. Can Askaroth keep his team alive a little bit longer? He does have an Iron Bark. Jamie has Dispersion. There's still a little bit of time for them to try to make something happen. But with Jamie interrupted, Asgarath commits the Iron Bark. Chaz is just all over him. There is no opportunity for Asgarath to drink in this matchup. Jamie uses the Dispersion, and that is the last line of defense. If Swapsy and Raikou can stay on target, it is over for ABC. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's looking grim. It is looking dark. How is Jamie going to get any sort of counter pressure going? It doesn't, it's just not happening. It's just not there. They tried to pull this composition to counter comp Method Black, and that's ABC strategy for so long but they just don't have it nice life grip by Jamie pulling Asgrath out of that mana rift at least giving him a couple more seconds of mana regeneration to try and scrape together some sort of opportunity for their team but they still need to get through anti-magic zone they still need to get through darkness Chaz is luckily actually out of mana as well Maybe, I, I would like to maybe see Chaz baited into midfield and they switch to Chaz. It's really up to Raikou. He's got to carry the team in terms of counter aggression. He's got Icy Veins popped. That's boosting his damage quite heavily, but no result off the back end of it. Jamie has Vampiric Embrace. I will say defensive cooldown rotation for ABC looks solid. The Mana Rift strategy is definitely the most powerful in the current meta, and I don't think this composition can overcome it despite their play here in game number three. Alex doing his best into dampening. Potentially they can kill the Death Knight. We saw Cervantes dip very low in the series prior if ABC can hold on to that point. How is Jamie still alive? Asgarath has been out of mana for so long in this matchup. Swapsy now dipping a little bit low. He has to sit in his anti-magic zone. 
Jamie has dispersion back and rotate it up. Can they pull it off? If Jamie can live a little bit longer, there's a full silence on Chaz. Chaz, no mana left. This would be an absolute miracle. Everyone counted ABC out, but they're still holding on, fighting for dear life. A full stun now onto Jamie, slowing him down. Raikou has the darkness if he really needs it. Jamie trades out the dispersion off that Maledict, just trying to heal up and help Azagrath out a little bit longer. But no Iron Bark available. Azagrath still zero mana. Nice double fear from Jamie as he loads both members up with vampiric touch getting some pressure rolling for his team there's the void form extra damage swapsy could be in trouble but he does have the anti-magic zone is a response and jamie i think it is over for them right here right now they managed to hold on fight for dear life but it was just not enough to overcome method black method black have the perfect composition right now and then on top of that Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.